Hey everybody, welcome back to Hot Water Wrestling. This is a video response to Gemini's 20 questions, so I'm going to get right into it. Um, let's see, number one, who is your favorite wrestler of all time? Well, there's a difference between who's the best wrestler of all time and who's my personal favorite wrestler of all time. That's a tough question to answer. Favorite wrestler of all time? I'm going to go back to my childhood for this one, all right? I'm going to say Tito Santana. <laughs> he was my boy. I loved the Bulldogs back then. I obviously, you know, as a kid, I loved Hogan. Um, but I'm going to go with Tito Santana, my favorite wrestler of all time. Which is my favorite WrestleMania of all time? Favorite WrestleMania of all time would have to be, gosh, that's a really tough question since, you know, WrestleMania has changed over the years. Um, it, it's gotten different and, and there's so many different eras in wrestling. To pick a favorite, again, is hard. But I'm gonna go old school again on this one. I think my favorite WrestleMania of all time was WrestleMania four. Um, because I love that championship tournament they had. It was very, very interesting to me at the time. And I always find myself going back to that one and watching it. And I just love WrestleMania 4. So I'm going to go with WrestleMania 4. My favorite move. Well, that's easy. My favorite move is a very simple move, but it's always been my favorite. Guys don't use it that much anymore. It doesn't play such a role as it used to play. It used to play a huge role. It determined many outcomes of many world championships, many WWE championships. Well, I don't know about many WWE championships, but uh, certainly world championships. And that is the figure four leg lock. Always loved that move. When I was a kid, I had, you know, backyard wrestling going on, and that was always my move, the figure four. And that works. That move works. So the figure four. My favorite promotion, easily WWE, WWF. They're suffering a little bit now, but all around, all together, definitely WWE. Who is my favorite diva? Well, I'm not one for the diva matches. I recognize their hotness. I love to watch their intros, especially in TNA, the beautiful people. I love how they shake their ass on the ring rope. But uh, I'm right now, my favorite diva, seriously, is Beth Phoenix, the Amazon, Wonder Woman I call her. Who is the best technical wrestler of all time? Man, that's another hard one. Um, I'm going to go with Bret the Hitman Hart. Because he has to be up there with my favorite wrestlers and arguably the greatest wrestler of all time. But we can't forget guys like Bruno San Martino or a Bob Backlund. Greg the Hammer Valentine comes to the mind. Kurt Angle definitely, definitely comes to mind. But I'm going to go with Bret the Hit Manhart because he definitely deserves to be on this list. Favorite pay-per-view? Well, now I don't know if he means my favorite pay-per-view like to watch every year or the favorite one I ever watched. I'm just going to go with WrestleMania. It's the biggest and best pay-per-view there is. WrestleMania. There you go. Should blood be back in the WWE? Watch my other videos. Hell yeah, it should be back starting this Sunday at Hell in a Cell, damn it. Huh. Blood. Will T Slay have 10,000 subscribers? I think that was the question. Um, sure, why not? Um, my favorite announcer, that is easy. I have always loved the Gorilla, Gorilla Monsoon. He will never be replaced in my eyes. He was just the best, and I love watching old school wrestling and hearing his voice. It just calms me down. Him and Jesse Dabati Ventura, the greatest announcer team of all time. My favorite announcer, Gorilla Monsoon, for sure. Okay, which Dina has the best breast? The best breast of all time. Ooh. Um, Let's go with Trish Stratus. I mean, I got to do it. And you know who else has really nice ones? It's uh, Jillian right now. I know she's annoying as all get out, but you can't, uh, can't ignore the breastuses on that dame. All right, so uh, we want Trish Stratus on that one. 
How many matches have I watched? I have no bloody idea. How many matches I've watched? I, I've never counted. I don't know. I just, I have no idea. I'll go with Gemini. I'll go with 35,000. How's that, all right? Who's the greatest heel? Oh, God, another one. I mean, whew. I mean, oof, that's a really hard one. I mean, Ric Flair, obviously. Okay, but I'm gonna go, Ric Flair probably is the greatest heel because of his, he's just one of the greatest wrestlers and he was a heel. Um, even though he was kind of like a beloved heel, he was like the first of his kind. He, he was a heel that lots of people loved him. But I'm gonna go with my favorite heel and that's Rowdy Roddy Piper. Yeah, Rowdy Roddy Piper, the innovator, the man who <clears throat> innovated wrestling with Piper's pit. Um, Roddy Roddy Piper would steal the show whenever he was out there. He was phenomenal. Remember that one time where he put paintings up of Mr. T all damaged? Like Mr. T with a broken leg, Mr. T with a broken arm. Amazing. Roddy Roddy Piper, my favorite heel of all time for sure. The greatest baby face? That has to go to Hulk Hogan. I mean, there never was nor will ever will be a greater baby face than Hulk Hogan in his day. The greatest baby face of all time, for sure. Can't even argue with it. The best wrestling town in America. Best wrestling town in America. I'm gonna go with Philly. ECW, ECW. That's right, Philadelphia, I'm gonna go with Philly. All right. If WrestleMania could be anywhere in the country, where would I want it to be? I'm gonna go with Los Angeles, California. Why not? No, scratch that. You know what? I'm going to go with Hawaii. Yeah, let's test the limits. Let's see how dedicated you fans are. Hawaii. WrestleMania live from Hawaii. Who was the worst champion? Oh, well, yeah. David Arquette, obviously, obviously was the worst champion. Um, so that pretty much settles that. Number 18, the best wrestling event I've seen on television. <clears throat> well, I've seen most of my wrestling events on television. I think most people have. Um, hmm. I mean, I would, I, would I have to go with WrestleMania 4? You know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go with WrestleMania 3 for this one. The legendary, the amazing WrestleMania 3. Okay. Would I rather have the Coliseum video collection or all the WWE DVDs? That is a very, very, very tough question. I love the Coliseum videos. I have plenty of them on DVD, um, you know, transfers that fans have made and uh, I've traded for. Um, so, you know what, I'm just going to go with the WWE DVDs. I guess if I had to pick one, just like Gemini says, you just get more footage, you just get more stuff, more bang for the buck. So, WWE DVDs. And last, who is the biggest jobber in the WWF? That's a funny question because I can't answer it because I don't remember their names. I remember seeing these guys, and I mean, the big jobbers were back in the day because nowadays on, on, on wrestling shows, they don't have people really face these jobbers too much anymore. Um, everyone on the show is basically a superstar. So you have to think old school for that. Um, I, I, I guess I'll go with Frank Williams. Um, he was Piper's first guest on the Piper's Pit. Uh, I'll go with him, I think. Uh, yeah. Paul Roma. <laughs> I know he wasn't the biggest jobber. He actually had a great young with the uh, young stallions back in the day. But Roma sure got his butt kicked around a bunch. Yeah, I'm going to go with Frank Williams. Who the hell is that? So anyways, that... Uh, wraps up Gemini's 20 questions and I hope you guys enjoyed it and remember to always tune in to Hot Water Wrestling.